Yo, 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 you're watching Day Day's Gameplay, and I'm your host, Day Day, and today we're going to be breaking down this clip right here that I got when I was playing solo quads on the stream. So, we're going to be talking about how to push and when to push and when not to push, because that is a super important thing, especially when you're playing low man duos, trios, quads, or aka solo, right? So, as you can already see, I get this one guy in the site because he's coming back. We go ahead and we drop him real quick. He lands into a position where I can't finish off the kill. So what I'm going to have to do at this point is more or less push him. That's what I'm thinking. If I can't get a position on him, then I'm going to need to push him. So the first thing that I do is I go ahead and I close the door. And then I reload my weapon as I'm trying to figure out where I want to push from. Because he knows that he got shot from this direction, this specific direction. So I don't want to jump off this railing and then push over there and... And, and be killed for, because they know exactly where I'm coming from. I want to come from a different angle. Remember, I always say change up your positioning, change up your angle, and that's exactly what we've got to do in this particular clip. So, like I said, I can't finish off the kill, so I immediately come down here so I can see if I can get a better angle, and I want to check, I want to stop, look, and listen before I go ahead and push. So I jump out right there. I see his teammate running down. I have dead silence, which does help out on this one, and I pop it, and I start running. Notice I don't immediately beeline for the door, right? Because that window that is directly above, right there, right? So right here is the window that's directly above the staircase or in line with the staircase. You can see if I was going on the left side of this connex box or this storage container, if I went on the left side, they would have seen me or could potentially have seen me and had an easy shot on me. So I went to the right instead of going to the left in order to break that line of sight. Because that's one thing you always want to do whenever you're trying to engage or disengage with an enemy is make sure you're coming from a position that they can't predict or where it's harder for them to see, right? So I got the dead silence. I immediately push in there because I know he's going to be resin his buddy. I can hear him at this point, close the door, and then start the res. So it's just a matter of pushing in there. I've got dead silence. They don't know that I'm here. They don't know that I'm coming up. They, they don't know anything. Right now, they've closed the door. They're panicking. They're trying to, 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 to get his buddy back up. I've created a, a state of emergency for them, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. Push in there. And immediately as I jump through the door, right, because I can hear exactly where they're at, situation awareness and map awareness are the two most important things you can have in this game. Map awareness comes into play right here. I know the bathroom is right there. So make sure that you are learning the map as you play so this way you can have that kind of knowledge. So I immediately jump in. You don't want to shoot the guy that is down. You want to shoot the partner that's resin because he's already down. So if you shoot the guy that's down, if he doesn't have self-res, he's immediately going to pop as well, and it's going to be an easy kill, and you can move on about your business. And that's exactly what I do. I shoot the guy that's resing, and we immediately get the